I'm making this video because the amount of hate and bullying and just it's getting way out of hand. You know, when you're fighting against corruption, you you're putting yourself on the line. You're putting yourself on the line because you have to deal with all the backlash from it. And when you put yourself on the line and then others won't keep their end of the deal. Um, no, this isn't actually directed toward you know who. It isn't directed to who you're thinking of. And honestly, it's I'm not going to mention who. But I'm putting my neck out there for a while fighting corruption. Talking about the inequality on Long Island and stuff. Well, I'm not going to do it anymore. And you know I'm not going to do that anymore. But I'm not, I'm going to now go back and remove all the content related to those issues. You know why? Because it hasn't made a difference. All it has done is brought pain upon myself. All this done is caused my name to be dragged through the mud. And a lot of people will misunderstand things and, of course, make these horrible false accusations. But I'm going to be honest with you all. I feel like my life's in danger now. And once you feel like your life is in danger, it's not worth it to keep doing this anymore. And so, all the content that I've made about corruption, about the inequality, the downtowns, and all this other stuff, it's gone. By the time you see this video, that content, you won't see it anymore. And I hate doing this, but I feel it's for my own good. Because right now, I feel like my life is in danger because of it. And this is why nobody goes against the corruption. Nobody does it. Nobody does it. Nobody wants to do it anymore. And then, when people promise you that they're going to come out here and help you out with some of your corruption issues, and they keep putting it off for weeks upon weeks, and... When someone tells you, is, acts like they're upset about being impersonated, and then that someone says they're going to go and get the police involved, and then the next day, and then you just don't hear from them anymore. It shows that they don't want to do anything either. Nobody, hardly anyone, is willing to put their neck out there, to put their skin on the line, speak up. And then I look at today's MTA board meeting. No one brought up the situation at Mineola. No one brought up Long Island at all. I know, I didn't speak. My colleagues failed to do that. They didn't want to put their skin on the line. See, you see how it goes? People don't really care about helping each other. All right? And I know a lot of you are good people out there. And you just don't want to go through what I'm going through. You don't want to have your address leaked, your name posted uh, on, on all these different things. Um, your, your life threatened in some ways because you went against corruption. And then being called horrible things, things I never did. All I was doing when I took those videos, just to show you the towns, was taught to hit pictures of women. I mean, really? Uh, you know, but it's, it's going to be gone.
I've thought long and hard about this, but when you feel like your life is in danger, and at the same time, the people that are involved with this stuff, as much as I'm upset about what they're doing, I don't want to see their lives destroyed over it either. And, you know, because again, people, they just don't want to, they don't want to put their, you know, they don't want to do this stuff. I, it, I've thought about leaving YouTube as well. It's not worth it anymore because I don't get the appreciation of that. I don't get it. Think about it. How many other people have made videos about what goes on on Long Island? About the inequality? How many people have really done it? No. Nice bus. How many people have really criticized Nice Bus? Not many. Organizations that say that they're looking out for public transit riders. They're focused on the city. They don't really care about Long Island. All of them. So I'm not going to be involved in that anymore. As you know, I've stopped speaking at MTA committee meetings. I have no plans on speaking at any more MTA committee meetings. Or Nice Bus meetings or legislature meetings, or town meetings, or any of that. Because none of it is worth the stress and the anxiety and the panic attacks I'm going through right now. No, I do believe in freedom of speech. But you know what? This is the bystander effect. Think about it. You're, 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 you're getting beat up. And your friends are saying they're going to help you, and they just stand there and watch. You know, that's the way I feel. Nobody can be bothered. I'll, I had to go down there and take those posters down myself because nobody else I knew could be bothered to do it. Remember, I'm the one who did it. You look at all the channels on YouTube, I'm the one who's talked the most about those issues, more than anyone else. And look at where it's gotten me. Fearing for my life. Having posters put with my picture, my name and address. Getting threats, email threats, threats on YouTube. I know, contact the police. I remember with the last time I went to the police and the DA and went out threats and they said it would have to be specific, a time and a place specific. And those people haven't done that. I could try contacting the police again, but they're probably not going to do anything. You're on your own. So what do I get in 10, 10 or so years here on, or how many years I have been here on YouTube, what do I get? I get nothing but grief. There are two things, however, I cannot stop talking about. That is the environment. Well, that is the one thing, the environment and the weather. But everything else, every single thing that has doesn't have to do with the environment or the weather will be yanked down from this channel. There's no more, it, 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 no, people don't, I know people will say, we, we're there for you, we, we're willing to help you, you know, but when people you know that you've associated with who think that, well, they're going to help you, they're going to help you with your, tra your transportation problems in Mineola, they're going to talk about no seats, they're going to talk, no, they're not going to. You put your skin on the line. They don't want to put their skin on the line because they don't want their addresses leaked. They're thinking of themselves. And now it's time I have to think about myself and say, you know what? It's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it anymore to do this anymore. 
And I hope no 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 comment is gonna make me change my mind. Because I don't need this stress anymore. It's only hurting me. No one else is willing to do anything about it. All it's done is cause me pain, cause me to get harassed, bullied, and now feeling like I'm my life is being threatened. Looking over my shoulder, no matter where I go. It's horrible when people make horrible lies about you. But this is why no one speaks up. And it's sad. It's a sad example of today's world, particularly on Long Island. And I do not know if Long Island will remain my home or not. And when I say I'm not going to talk about corruption anymore, that means posts as well. Community posts. And to those haters out there, or whatever they want to say, trolls, haters, whatever they are, whoever you are, you win. You got me to shut up. Because nobody else is willing to do the right thing and help me. It's funny, you know, I, uh, it was even somebody referred to 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 a friend somebody I knew actually had a lawyer they knew. Say that lawyer was going to help me. Zero. People are only in it for themselves. Thought I did. They're not in it for anyone else. They're not in it for anyone else. And you know what? This is becoming a war. And. I don't want it degenerating into a war. It's not worth it. Not worth it to me, not worth it to anyone. But I'm still thinking about leaving YouTube. Why? Because YouTube doesn't enforce its rules. YouTube is a lawless place. YouTube is basically a ghetto where they allow anything and everything. They say they have community guidelines, but the community guidelines are only there to protect. Well, you know. So, again, speak up, that's what happens. You get angry, you get stressed out, you get anxiety disorder. Not worth it. It's not worth it. As bad as these, as bad as these other people may seem, I don't want their lives getting ruined over it either. All right? Yeah, I did a lot of research last night. And you realize who these people are. You don't want their lives getting messed up over it. All right? Believe it or not, I actually have a little compassion for them. Which is crazy, I know. But. I just want this all to stop. This war to stop, please. All right? I'm not going to fight corruption anymore. I'm going to go back and move all the videos related to that. Because technically, even though I made a video a while ago saying I'm not really fighting corruption anymore and I'm not involved in those issues, those videos are still there. So technically, I still have. So they have to go too. And so, this ends this. Oh, please, we got to stop this hate. We got to stop this war. This is a war with, with, with other users on YouTube. Other people, other human beings fighting amongst each other. It's ridiculous. This is like infantile stuff that we're fighting over. The names being called and stuff like that. No. It's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it anymore. I want to continue to bring weather updates. I want to do Pine Barrens videos, Parks videos, you know, weather, climate. But anything involved with Wall Street or favoritism or inequality or even transit schedules, 
Yeah, I think I might be done with transit too. Yeah. I I I, I gotta use it, but as far as making videos about it, as far as anything where I'm complaining, I think that's gonna be gone too. This is gonna be a lot of work to go through all videos. I could just shut down the channel. That would be the easiest thing, right? That's what a lot of people would love, I'm sure. I don't know if I'm ready to do that just yet. But if this continues after this move, that may be or very well be my next step. Because no one is willing to really put their skin on the line. Everybody is just focused on their own lives, on their own thing. comes to helping out other people. It's another that's that's something they just don't want to do. They just rather focus on themselves. You know. You know, you're left to deal with buses not showing up or bullying and a train station with no seats. You're left to deal with that by yourself. Yeah, nothing I can do to change any of it. Except stop. Just shut up. Don't talk about this stuff no more. And I know that's going to upset a lot of you. But you know what? If it does, why don't you do what I did? Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Because it's not easy. And I'm done with it. Want to do it again? I don't know. Imagine how much different my life would have been if I never got involved with this stupid YouTube in the first place. Never got involved with social media in the first place. Yes, I've met a few good friends, but I've met a lot of so-called fair weather friends. People who will, you know, say what's happening to you is wrong, but when it comes to their, them on public, on the internet, they're not willing to stick up for you. They're not willing to make any content to help you. They're too involved with their own problems in the city that they don't really care about what you're going through out here in the sticks on Long Island. So, it's hard. For, when something's bothering me, it's very hard for me to Keep it inside, so just to save face and not to upset anyone, obviously I'm not mentioning who I'm disappointed in. And I will never mention publicly who I'm disappointed in, ever. But I'm done with this. Please, let's stop the war. All right? Let's stop the war. Let's put down our arms and let's stop this war right now, please. Please. All right? You're trying to destroy my life, and I don't want to destroy yours. Let's stop this. And as far as this video goes, it will be up for it won't be it won't it won't be up indefinitely. It will be up for a day or two and that's it. And that's all I've got to say. For all my viewers and all my subscribers, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. But I now have to do what's best for me because it's not worth feeling like I'm in danger over this, especially when others aren't willing to put their, themselves in the line of fire to stick up for me. So they're not even willing to go to a police station. They're not even willing to get in touch with the police view. They're not even willing to drive down somewhere and take down post done. So I'm done with this stuff. And I'm no longer going to be involved in any organizations at all. Maybe the environment. If it's in, at, related strictly to the environment of the Pine Barrens, I, that's something I cannot, and I will never, ever sacrifice. Because I love the Pine Barrens, and I don't want to see them destroyed. 
But when it comes to everything else, transit, inequality, crime, I'm done. Politics especially. Done. It's not worth this anymore, man. And again, if you're so upset about me not not doing this anymore and removing all these videos, no one's stopping you from doing something. No one's stopping you from getting involved in this fight against corruption. I'm not going to stand in your way. Others probably will, though. It's up to you if you want to take that personal risk or not. But to me, it's not worth it. It's not worth possibly getting hurt, attacked, harassed, or worst case, killed. It's sad that this is the kind of th state of things that we live in, but this is the way it is, as Bruce Hornsby would say. Happens to be one of my favorite songs, too. So, that's going to wrap up this video. Please don't unsubscribe. We're still going to do weather. We're still going to do Pine Barrens videos, nature. But this other stuff, all of it, and I've been scaling it back, but it's now time to just turn things off and um, stop. Just get rid of all that other content. And if the war continues and I still get attacked, then my next step is leaving YouTube permanently. Thank you for watching and take care.